Today I'll be showing you guys an AI based medic resource. This is useful if you don't have enough players to staff an EMS department and it saves your players from having to respawn all the time and possibly losing their items. This resource is highly customizable when it comes to the cost, response time, and revival time. There's also an option to disable the NPC going to calls when they're EMS on duty. I'll leave a link in the description to the resource and I hope you enjoy the video. First, click the link in the description that takes you to the resource, and once you're here, we're going to hit the green code and hit download zip. Once it's done, we're going to open it up, and we're also going to open our server resources. From here, we'll open what we just downloaded and drag the folder that matches our framework into our server resources, so that will be QB. Alright, now I'm just going to rename it to make it simpler. All right, from here, we're going to go to our server CFG and ensure the resource. And then we're going to hit file and save. Once it's ensure, we're going to go back to the resource location and see what's available within the files before we test it out. So go back to our server resources and find the resource. And the first file we're going to go into is going to be the config. So go ahead and open that up. Now config.doctor is where you can disable the NPC responding to calls. So while it's at zero, if there's one EMS person on duty, the NPC will be disabled. So if you set it to four, for example, once there's a fifth person that comes on duty, the NPC will not respond. So set this to whatever you think is enough. I'm testing this, so I'll leave it at zero and show you what happens in both scenarios. The price is the price players pay for treatment, obviously. And the revival time is how long it takes for the NPC to get players back on their feet. So it's 20,000 milliseconds, which is 20 seconds. You can make it shorter or longer depending on how you want your server to be. So once you change everything to how you like it, if you did change anything, just hit file and save. And we're going to go back to the resource and we're going to open the client file. So in here, the first thing you can change is the command to call the medic. By default, it's slash help, and that can interfere with any server help guides or things that tell players the rules. So I'm going to change it to slash medic. So I'll just replace help with medic. The next thing you can change is the vehicle the NPC responds in. So that'll be down here on line 37. By default, it's ambulance. If you have your own ambulance installed or emergency service vehicle, you just change the hash name or the spawn code. So we're going to replace this with a car I have. It's FD1. And then the next thing you can change is the ped the NPC res response, or the actual ped of the NPC, I mean. Um, so I left a link in the description to the website for peds, so we're just going to go to that and find one that we want. I normally try to find things that match what I'm doing, so we can, uh, we can do this one here. So you have to change it in three locations. So here's one. Here's the second one. And here is the third one. Now, the last thing I'm going to do here is change the spawn radius. By default, it's 40. You can make it larger and make this the response time slower or make it smaller and make the response time quicker. It's up to you. I'm just going to make it 75, something random. And then once we're done here, we're going to hit file and save. Then we're going to go back to the resource and we're going to open the server file. So in here is how players get billed. Right now, by default, it comes out of cash or bank, whatever the players have. So if they have money in their bank account, it'll come out. If they have the price you set in cash, it'll come out of there. So the only thing you'll change here is if you want it to be either cash or bank, not both. So for the example, I will make it cash only. And all you have to do is take away the bank part. If you want to be bank only, all you have to do is take away the cash part. So up here, I'll take away this bank part. And then down here, I'll also take away the bank part. Okay. Once you have everything how you want it to be, we're going to hit file and save. And then you can start your server and test it out. All right. So as you can see, we're in the server. And what we're going to test first is the command we sent. So slash medic. And we were charged for the treatment. It says they're arriving. So now we'll make sure the vehicle we set matches as well as the pad. And 
right so she's training us And then after she's done the vehicle poof, so you don't have to worry about vehicles building up and just sitting around your server. So now I'll show you guys the feature where the NPC is disabled. So I'll set my job as EMS. And we'll just check to make sure. Okay. And then once we're done here, we're going to try and call the medic. So you'll get a notification saying that there are too many medics online. Meaning attempt to call number one and get an actual player to come. And that is all for the video. If this helped you out, please leave a like and a sub. And if you have any questions or need help, feel free to comment down below.